All right, so if you're following us from the last video, I'm David Henry from Learn Christmas Lighting, and in this video, we're going to go ahead and put some sequences onto our FPP, our Falcon player, running on a Raspberry Pi. So, I've got it connected. If you haven't followed the previous video from last week, uh, make sure you do check that out first. We'll link to it above wherever they come up on YouTube. And, uh, and now let's add some sequences. So, I'm in here. I'm logged into the FPP at fpp.local. Um, and so I just want to walk you through a couple things that are going to be important to running sequences, okay? This is the main screen that kind of gives you an idea of what's going on. But if we go to Content Manager and Playlists, that's the first place we generally want to go, okay? So when we're setting up our show, we'll basically bring in all of our sequences from Xlights or from Vixen, and then we'll... Um, We'll, we'll shoot them out to the FPP and we'll go ahead and um, and be able to put them then into a playlist. We'll be able to name a playlist here. That would be your show basically for the year. And then we could bring in uh, media and sequences separate or together and build a playlist here. Then we also have the scheduler, which is once we've got our playlist set up, we tell it when to run. So how do we get sequences onto this thing? Well, there's a few ways to do it. Number one, if we go to the file manager here, we can go ahead and upload files right here. Just drag and drop or press select files and use the Windows Explorer. Okay, now these are going to be an FSEQ format. Okay, and so you want to save as an FSEQ if you're in Xlights or if you're in Vixen. Um, again, that's I'm not going to go into detail here, but you can find the ability to do that in the manual or over in Learn Christmas Lighting Academy. Um, and so, if you're if you remember there, um, and so basically, you can go ahead and grab those files, upload them here. The other way to do it, if you're in Xlights, is you can uh, actually do it automatically. So let's let's run Xlights real quick. All right, so I've gone ahead and opened up Xlights. I have a sequence open that's probably not required. And I'll then go to uh, Tools and FPP Connect. It finds the FPP. It says, okay, here we've got an FPP. Uh, if there's multiple, they will show up as well. I'm going to leave everything uh, just the same in here. I don't really feel the need to change anything. Um, and we're going to go ahead and upload. We can even upload to a playlist if we want. Um, I'm just going to leave everything as normal, and then you can select your sequences. You know, these are basically from my, my file here from last year. And then press Upload. Boom! You see that progress? Then it happens. Now, popping back over here to FPP, we can then go to Playlists. And now we can see, okay, we've got some sequences here. They, they're even sequences with media. And so now, if I'm making a new playlist, let's just call this Christmas 2020, because it's 2020 when I'm making this. It's really just as simple as naming it, pressing save. Um, then we can go ahead, we can add that media and sequence, we can add this one, done. Now you can see here, um, there's the ability to have lead-in files, like at the start of your show and lead out at the end of your show, or just have a looping playlist in the middle of the main playlist. Uh, save that, of course, always save. Saving is important. Then head to the scheduler, at which point we can go ahead and press add, set a start and end date. By default, it basically sets it to run forever, uh, which is great for testing, right? So then you just plug in your Pi and it'll just run um, at that given time. And uh, then you can set every day. You can even go down here to day mask and set only certain days or do it individually here. Um, start time and end time. Again, sunrise and sunset can be used and configured in here. And then stop type can be graceful or hard stop. Graceful just finishes out the songs and then stops. And that's it. So you set that up, you save it. If you go to the status page, the main page of FPP here, now it's playing. Done. Nice and easy. So with that, thanks for watching again. Again, if you want more info, uh, check out the waitlist for Learning Christmas Lighting Academy or just check out the rest of the free videos here, the free articles, all the good stuff here from LearnChristmasLighting.com. Until next time, I'll see you around on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe, of course, if you're not, and I will see you. Thanks.